Hello there. Today I'm here to confess my sins. Or more precisely, to show that I will be crafting some cards. Uh, a good number of these are going to be just, you know, commons and uncommons. Though uh, these lands, these are rare, and I'll be crafting them. Right now, if I were to remove the cards that I still didn't have in deck, it would look a little bit like this. And this, I don't have a single one of these. Now, putting these out back to what they were before, we are going to talk about what this deck actually does. Um, some of you who have seen my Paraxian Oil Engine uh, deck Some of you who have seen my Paraxian Oil Engine deck we recognize some cards like Vat of Rebirth and Corrupted Conviction and Vran Executioner Fame and even Bloated Process. Was that in that deck? Maybe not. In any case, uh, the objective of this deck is to get things back from the graveyard using conduits of worlds with with that of rebirth as a backup and a side thing going on because uh, conduit of worlds allow you to cast the card from the graveyard but only allows you to cast once a turn uh, that of rebirth doesn't have this limitation, and you can do it alongside Conduit of Worlds, and you don't need to pay the full cost of the card, and some of these cards are quite expensive. Though, to be fair, Conduit of Worlds is able to bring everything else back from the graveyard, uh, including enchantments and artifacts, if they get removed. It just becomes a little bit complicated if one of these go to the graveyard, because bringing them back is all well and good, but it does not prevent board wipe. Anyways, as creatures will go to the graveyard and come back, things like Soul Enervation, that gives me life and makes my opponent lose life, and Insidious Roots, that creates nice little tokens that can then die for other reasons, um, will be triggered. And this will just increase the value of everything going on. Uh, I have added this because we'll be making tokens with plus one, plus one tokens. And we'll be making uh, incubators that start with plus one, plus one counters. So that's good. Also, Canker Bloom has the ability to proliferate, which means that I can just increase the plus one, plus one counters of a lot of my creatures. However, Canker Bloom has a very specific ability to destroy artifacts and enchantments. And it's a relatively cheap card to play. It's very good. Um, I have Corrupted Conviction and Fanatical Offering in the deck as not only card draw, but as a means of a um, 
combat trick to prevent people from exiling my creature or to just get value out of a creature that was going to die anyways. Uh, Glissa Sun Slayer is in the deck because it's a really good card, it's in the colors and uh, allows me to have card draw in a deck that don't have that much card draw. It also destroys enchantments and fucks up with counters. It's just a good card, like First Strike Death Touch, you don't want to block this and you don't want this creature blocking a creature that you have. Uh, Shieldred will bring cards from the graveyard, it's also a card that has an effect when it enters the battlefield, so whenever people remove Shieldred, she's going to come back. Uh, Vorniclex, good card, has a enters the battlefield effect, and uh, has the ability to make your creatures just fight everything else that the opponent controls. And um, this part where it mills 10 cards, that's also going to fuel things. Just don't hit both of your Conduit of Worlds. Uh, Glissa is going to make bodies that we can then get rid of for various reasons. And that's going to be very good. Very good for us. Uh, however, the centerpiece of the deck is actually uh, other than you know the things that get cards back from the graveyard it is skyfisher spider not only it has reach which is good against annoying uh, flying creatures but when it enters the battlefield i can sacrifice another creature to just destroy anything that the enemy controls well except you know except lands but we don't usually destroy lands in mpg uh, the second ability when it goes to the graveyard that's that's a trap do not do that you want to be able to bring it back um so, uh, Underground Mortuary is a really good card for this deck because it allows you to dig through your deck and it allows you to throw things to the graveyard for them you to reanimate later. Uh, Bloated Processor allows you to sacrifice creatures if they are about to be exiled. It cannot save itself, but still. It also um, creates a body. If it dies, oh, sure, you need to transform it first, but still. A grafted Butcher. Grafted Butcher. You can sacrifice another creature to bring it back. So, this, this will be fueling that rebirth every time that you just bring it back. And it will be activating the Sage's Roots and activating Soul Innervation. Uh, so... It's just quite good on this deck, particularly because I have a lot of Pyrexians. The only Pyrexian, the only non-Pyrexian um, creature that I have in this deck is Skyfisher Spider. And you can tell how important it is to have this card. Anyways, it's time. Now watch my next video for me to play this deck because YouTube does not like when I make videos that are bigger than 15 minutes.